I got this FM transmitter at the dollar store yesterday and it said it's made for a PSP but I figured with a few slight modifications I could use it to transmit sound from my laptop right here over to my stereo it's always been a problem for me and running a cord you know along the floor doesn't doesn't really work looks bad can't really go over yeah, I can't get in the attic to run anything through the wall plus that'd be way too much work so I figured a uh, dollar why not why not try so I took the thing apart um, found if you look down inside there well you can't really see much of anything oh okay first uh, started out by modifying the antenna because the original antenna on there was crappy quick calculations to figure out the length of my little whip antenna 85 centimeters and soldered it on there soldered on power which is that guy right there and the ground which is right there connects to the ground plane that's how you could tell um, this entire plane right here that you can see on the circuit board it's all colored in the same color basically it's all copper it's all a plane of grounding um, helps keep there from being noise in the signal so uh, and then found out that that was power VN just because it's linear regulator and it makes sense. Uh, so my antenna being 85 centimeters long is a bit long to just have hanging off so I decided to wrap it around a pen. Oh there's me cutting holes in this the housing of this little tiny dollar thing to make everything work and fit. So there it is completed, more or less. Uh, some hot glue to keep from accidentally ripping the wires out. These two here, that's ground and VN. Uh, you can run it off 3.3 volts. Technically, I think the PSP used 2.5, but eh, details. Still works. Probably is just a little bit less efficient. Burning off the excess energy is heat. So uh, wrap the antenna around that pin, as you can see in that picture. There it is completed. Goes to my receiver where I made a similar antenna to plug into the back. Same antenna, same length. So, here it is down here. I'm using the Arduino for power. It's plugged into my computer's audio, laptop audio. So, I'll exit out of this, open up Media Player. And as soon as I turn on my stereo, we can test it out. It's broadcasting at 88.1 megahertz. This should be set. 88.1 FM. Come back over here. And press play. <laughs> And I have found very few things that can interrupt this. I mean, I'm standing in the way of the signal right now and it goes right through me with no problem. It didn't work that well until I uh, made my antennas a little bit better. But, one dollar science. <laughs> 